A small reactor uh, is a, uh, it's going to be a small industrial facility. It's designed to complement the very large reactors uh, deployed today. Our large reactors today producing 20% of our electricity, carbon free, are sized to uh, supply the needs of large um, metropolitan areas, uh, serving over a million families typically. These small reactors uh, are going to be sized and scaled down to power small communities or industrial complexes thereby complementing their larger cousins. When you look at the time frame to gain uh, U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission's design certification, to get combined operating licenses to deploy these, to actually construct and bring them online, we're looking at 2018 to 2020 uh, deployment. Sounds like a long time, but once we get that deployment uh, demonstrated, we will have many more designs right behind them. And because these small reactors can be factory produced, uh, they can be deployed very rapidly going forward. Well, security and safety is foremost in everyone's mind. And here at home, the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission enforces that safety and security. And of course, it recognizes the gold standard worldwide. Now, our large plants today are safe and secure, recognizes likely the most secure industrial facilities on the planet. Our small reactors will be just as safe and secure, but they'll do it through design. Well, when you think about a public-private partnership, it's not just about money. It's about trying to achieve multiple public policy objectives. Those objectives might be reducing the carbon footprint of the federal government. It may be increasing the energy security of a military base uh, or a commercial enterprise. Uh, and it may be just economic development, creating good jobs here at home. Small reactors can help us do that. An example might be deploying a small reactor adjacent to a federal site, such as Oak Ridge National Lab or a military base, providing secure power, providing low carbon power, creating jobs in, in, uh, in the process.